Oh, welcome to the longest place name in the world. Hi folks, welcome to the channel. Uh, today's ride, or today's video, um, is going to be from the longest place name in the world, through to Dannyberg. And uh, with us today, out front, uh, leading as normal is Moses, and then Pine Tree. Uh, and just in front of me here is uh, Mark Smiley, and of course, uh, myself, I'm Esther. And um, this was the new trike. Um, I'm not sure if we've, you probably have seen it before, but this is the first uh, longest ride. Um, the ride today is about four hours, 300 k's, and we've come from Napier uh, down to Waipukadau, turned onto the Parongahau Road, and just before Parongahau, turned right up over the hill on Highway 52, uh, down to the longest place name. And that's from where we've just picked the ride up from there. Brilliant piece of road, and as you can see, fantastic day here in Hawke's Bay. Now Highway 52 goes off to the left, and that goes actually all the way down to Masterton. Um, but here we're on the Weber Road, and uh, not a tennis court in sight, but this is Wimbledon. And uh, the Wimbledon Tavern here is uh, very well known and very popular in the area, and I do believe from talking to another biker they put on a very good uh, meal of fish and chips. So if you're hungry coming through here, this is the place to stay. Here's the lads have been cutting a few trees down and uh, clearing the uh, power wires, I think. And on we go, there's a can to the uh, fallen soldiers um, in the area. A couple of these little villages are, are dotted through the road on the way through, but as you can see, the road is, is uh, quite challenging in places, quite technical, but a brilliant piece of road, great biking road, and the scenery is absolutely stunning. That road down to uh, Masterton on Highway 52, um, rode it a couple of years ago, very very good ride, tiger country all the way, um, quite technical in places, and um, you can get to a, a little place called Pongaroa, um, it's about halfway between here and um, Masterton, and there's fuel um, there, there's a pub and a, uh, a little superette, so uh, it's a great place to stop off and um, support the locals. Wow, look at that. It's good to see them keeping this road up to scratch too. Quite a few um, little stretches of roadworks like this, but it's a good thing because they're keeping the road um, as good as they can, considering that it is a backcountry road. So that's pretty typical of what the road's like. Big sweepers, some tighter stuff, great scenery, fabulous road. Now one of the things coming up, like it was a trouble free ride, except for one little spot. Um, riding on two wheels is quite different from riding on three. Um, there is a crossover of, of knowledge and technique, um, but a little bit few and far between. There's a spot coming up, I'll uh, talk you through it, where I had a bit of a um, uh, a bit of a scare, <laughs> and um, what I hadn't realised uh, is just a couple of k's up here. That you've got two big wheels on the back driving a smaller or skinnier wheel on the front, and you've got to turn. Sometimes um, it, you'll just sledge going forwards, and uh, it was, that's what happened. Um, 
we came, we came in behind this uh, little vehicle and the two other guys got through. Mark found a spot there so he gave it a squirt. Um, I had to wait till we got around the corner here and um, then I had an opportunity to go. And this uh, gradient coming up, left hand sweeper, off camber and it was damp which I didn't realise. And there's the sledge, it took me straight through, didn't turn in, there's the front wheel dug in and I'm up on two wheels. And then we get down. There we go. <laughs> Could have been a little bit hot. And um, yeah, I, the old pucker valve got a, a bit of a workout, <laughs> I've got to say. But then I got caught up behind this car. It was trimming along about 80k. And um, the other guys had gone. So I was just to sit back and have a good look at the scenery. You see right ahead on the distance there's the Ruahini Ranges. A beautiful piece of uh, beautiful country through here. So there's the opportunity get past it and uh, I didn't bother trying to catch up with the other guys they were well gone um, too much time spent behind there but it was good to see the older architecture and the, the farms around here are very well kept this beautiful rolling pastoral land And then the outskirts of Dannyburg uh, came up from um, the longest place name in the world through to Dannyburg. It's only about an hour, just over an hour's run, but it's a bit over 70 k's. But the Weber Road comes out just at the uh, south end of the, the main street of Dannyburg, which is just what we're approaching now. So the other guys were up at the cafe, the uh, Sugar and Salt Cafe, and a uh, great little place it is too. Glad to settle that gas up first. Um, the BP service station here is really good, great service. And uh, the uh, guys and girls in here are always uh, very friendly and very helpful. So from there it was uh, off up the main street to the uh, sugar and uh, salt here where we had a great uh, cup of coffee no good food good prices great service so there we are thanks for watching and remember to ride free and of course god bless